Hey YouTube, it is Dion. Welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. If you are new and you like the unexpected, you like a little gibberish, <laughs> and you like someone acting punch drunk, speaking words that they don't know what they're saying all the time, <laughs> this is the channel for you. So thank you for being here. I'm looking at the mirror behind the ring light so hopefully it looks like I'm looking at you guys and if, as you can see if you watch my other videos I am somewhere different this is when I'm looking at the camera so I'm going to try not to do that this is one of the hottest rooms in the house I am in you probably guessed it in my restroom I'm trying something new jumping right into it this is a get ready with me I'm going to do a very basic just foundation um, face I do have some errands to run I haven't even did my hair today except brushing it back this is the carmex lip balm because my lips are dry i'm going to be doing a lot of reaching because the sink is there and everything is there and i'm back here so the first thing i do i have washed my face and what i'm going to put under my eyes is the Bashia revitalizing black hydration gel this can be used all over the face i just put a little smidgen under my eyes and it does help hydrate this area which makes my bags look less prominent but as you know if you've seen any of my videos i have bags and on this side is it this side yeah i have matching luggage on this side so it's always there I've had bags since i was like in my 20s this is the olay regenerating serum fragrance free I use this all over and I'm hoping I don't forget anything usually I'm standing up and so I can just easily look down and see everything that's in my this is from college days my caboodle this isn't the one I had in college but this is the one I use and it has like all of my face stuff my toothpaste toothbrush brushes gels cleaners and I find it easy because I can just pull it out from under the sink, put it on top of the sink. Everything I need in the morning or uh, when I get ready for bed is in there. And then just put it back under the sink when I'm done. The next thing I'm going to use is the Bashia Sabaki Beauty Oil. This one you're supposed to put like three drops on your face. But because it's new, just taking this out of here, there is a lot <laughs> of oil on there so that's how I apply that and then I rub it all over I'm going to take some of this um, balm off of my lips it is very moisturizing and I guess my lips were not as dry as I thought they were so I rub the oil in all over I'm trying to go quick the residual oil on my hands I just rub into my hair oh yeah that's sexy <laughs> see this is what I mean like if <laughs> my channel is crazy because I'm crazy <laughs> I will brush it later <laughs> so that's what I do with that the next thing I take is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream with Sunscreen SPF 30. I did purchase their whipped one, which I really like, and I'm glad that I did this. But this one has SPF 25. I have tried it, but I'm going to use this one up before I really get into that one. So this will be the next thing that I put on my face. And this is it for my skincare routine in the morning. The next thing I'm going to use, I'm like, where are things? They're hiding from me. I always drop something. <laughs> because I'm reaching around, I have this mirror here. I, like an idiot. Can't see what's behind the mirror. And I didn't think about that before I put stuff here. Alright, so today we're also going to use the Fenty Beauty True Matte Primer. I used this for the first time the other day. And... I did um, talk about it 
about how I do really like it. It feels like a gel. It feels really good. But when it dries down, it feels like a powder. And it reminds me of the Hourglass um, primer. So sit that there. I need to, you know, let me put this, my caddy down on the floor. So I can have more space on the sink area. I'm going to mix the Fenty 330 and the Cover Effects G60 on my candle holder. I've had this probably over 10 years. So I do one pump. Do I do one pump? Maybe two. I do two. Very yellow, very runny. And the cover effects, I just squeeze that on top of and actually cover up the Fenty. So now that's what that looks like. Sorry for the clanging that is made out of glass. I'm using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And on here, I blend it together. And then I dot it on my face. I was saying before when I used this primer, it dried my foundation down like really quick. And so I think I may have waited I mean, just doing other stuff. Like maybe I was just making sure I had all my brushes here, had everything I needed. And when I went in to start stippling it, my foundation was already drying. And so along my hairline, <laughs> I had to actually buff versus stipple because it was drying already. So I will say this primer does mattify. It met, well, for me, it mattifies the foundation. I didn't notice a difference in how long my foundation lasted or there wasn't a difference in if I did sweat. See, like, this is drying already. Like, that's not moving. So I think this would be good for if you have a dewy primer. I mean, I'm sorry. If you have a dewy foundation and you want it to be less dewy, this would be a good primer for that. Did not irritate my skin. This is only my second time using it. But as of right now, I can say it has not irritated my skin or broken my skin out. My skin is very temperamental. So this is what the foundation looks like. And I really like this mix. To me, it looks like I'm really dark under my eyes, which I do have under eye discoloration. Sometimes I don't care and I don't use concealer, but for the sake of this video, I am going to apply concealer the way a 49 year old woman does. <laughs> I'll be 50 in December. <gasps> Gosh. All right, I'm just making sure that there are no lines, <laughs> especially along my hairline. Well, actually everywhere, because this foundation has really dried thanks to the primer but it doesn't feel tacky though which is great so and I still have foundation left I was gonna say primer that I don't really need to use sometimes depending on what my foundation does I don't feel like I should put on concealer sometimes I'm happy with how my under eye looks um, so that's what I was trying to see, is if I can get it to where I'm not a complete toad. I always ask my partner, is my face the same color? Is my under eyes dark? Where's my concealer? This is the <laughs> Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum. This is number 13, and the color is, I believe, is cream caramel. The way I do my concealer, I just dot it along where the socket is, where the discoloration is. And then I use the brush I use for my foundation and I just stipple it. I should have did one eye so I could see like how much of a difference 
It really makes. And I always say that after I've already put it on both sides. Okay, usually I wait uh, a few minutes for things to dry down before I put powder on because I have wrinkles and under eye discoloration. Sometimes when I put powder on right away, um, it accentuates the wrinkles. So what I'm gonna do, this is Carol's daughter, <laughs> what is it called? Their styling butter. And the container was like a tube. It was in a tube like this one. And you get to a point where you can't squeeze anymore. And so I cut it off and I scooped it out. And I have like three of these that are like completely full of what was left, excuse me, of what was left over in the container. So I put some on my hands. Put it in my hair. Take a little bit more. Make sure I get my sides, get the back. And so this is what I'll do while my foundation is drying down. If you guys are still here, thank you, because I know this video was kind of long. So I will put that there, and then I grab two brushes and a comb from In My Caboodle. The first brush I take is one of these kind of brushes. Brush this down. If you're, if you're a person who likes how, having your scalp scratched, this is awesome for back hair. It's only really effective for the hair, because I only have really hair at the top. Um, but it just feels so good, <laughs> scratching my scalp with it. And I'm looking in the mirror, I'm making sure, you know, I'm brushing down the edges. Well, like where this line is. Brushing this down. Then I take um, this is a boar's hair brush. Just make sure this is laying flat. The back and the sides. And along my hairline here. Well, as flat as it's going to get. And then I take my comb and I use this end and I kind of just fluff this back up. Well, just combing it actually fluffs it up. My hair is fluffy. And so, <laughs> and then I just kind of make sure it looks as even as possible. So like, like one side isn't like that, <laughs> which I could totally do. And people be like, "Yeah, that's her. She's a little off." And <laughs> and so that's it for my hair. Easy peasy. Okay, foundation still is not quite dry. I'm using a Lancome No Shine Powder. What is it called? Long Time No Shine Powder. And what brush am I using? Oh, you know what? There's a sponge. There's a puff in here. Which is why I like this, because the puff actually fits right in here. So I'm going to take a little bit of the powder. Try not to make a mess with this fan over here. I know it's going to be powder everywhere in my bathroom. And I start out under my eyes. I like this translucent powder because it really is translucent and it does not um, change the color of my foundation. And so I am comfortable putting it all over. I don't bake. I just put it on and then I brush it off. And then depending on what I feel like doing, I will um I know you probably guys probably think I'm having a stroke how I keep talking and not talking. Sorry about shaking the camera. Depending on how I'm feeling after that, this is a big fluffy powder brush. I will um use the Fenty cashew setting powder lightly very lightly dusting it all over my face just to bring a little bit more color back into my skin or sometimes I just leave it like this but for the sake of this video and to make it longer than it needs to be not intentionally we're going to do all of that so the Fenty setting powder and cashew and I am going to use 
the Fenty setting powder brush. This is always so messy. Well, these powders are messy. So I pick up some powder on the brush and then I tap it into the lid and then I just let it go everywhere very lightly dusting it on my face I'm realizing I'm not good at talking while I'm doing makeup I see some videos and people are just and I'm just like I have to focus <laughs> Unless I have something already pre-planned to talk about, which I don't. And so that's it for the powder. So next, whew. So, <laughs> so the next thing I'll do, <laughs> my three, yes, I'm all up in your face. My three Fenty <laughs> uh, bronzers. I take... I think it's Bajan Gal or Beijing Gal. I'm not sure which one. I use this one first. I am all sorts of awkward all the time. And I use this one on my cheeks. Put that away somewhere. Somewhere. And then I take Island Ting. <laughs> And this one, and I meant to use my fluffy brush for this. This one I do the entire perimeter of my face. And I bring it down the side and along my jawline, underneath my jawline. And then I'll take it just a little bit in here, in the hollows of my cheeks. And so this is how I do that. Put that away somewhere. I'm going to use the Fenty bronzer brush for <laughs> Caramel Cutie. I have stuff everywhere. And this is the one that I, and I like this brush for that because it fits right here. So Caramel Cutie is the darkest one. And the, all of these, you can build up the color. And so I take a little bit on the brush and I just put that right here in the hollows of my cheeks and I feather it upwards. Right here in this line right here this line right here and I just feather that up and that's all I do with that this is how I as a 49 year old person do my makeup and then I go for blush I'm using the Alomar Cosmetics this came in BoxyCharm a little while ago and I'm going to take Toasted using that same brush I use for bronzer just tap it in and just put a little bit very lightly on my cheeks oh I hope you guys didn't hear that my stomach just went and because I have a fluffy powder brush here that I have not used yet put that somewhere I am just going to take a clean powder brush. Did I use this brush? No, I didn't. And just go over my entire face. Just to meld everything together. It's not even a proper phrase, meld everything together. Um, I'm going to do my brows real quick. Thank you guys for still being here. I know we're going into like 20 minutes and this will take forever to upload. Do I want to do my brows? Sure. This is um <laughs> the Tarte Emphasize Brow Mousse in Rich Brown. And this is the brush that comes with it. So I just brushed my brows over with the spoolie part. And because I'm on camera, it's going to look horrendous. Me trying to do my brows. And the mirror is far away. I don't do fancy. I just try to get my tail to look the same on both sides. That's always my goal. Does it work? Maybe like 40% of the time. It works. You see what I mean? I get real quiet. Like I, 
And yes, I can chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> this video is probably really boring because I'm so quiet when I'm actually applying makeup. I'm going to leave my brows just like this. This side is thicker. But because the mirror is so far, I'm afraid to try and match this side to that side because then it may end up looking crazy. And so I'm going to leave my brows just like that. I'm going to brush them over one more time. I don't have a gloss right here and I probably won't even put one on. Um, I still feel the lip balm on there so I'll just leave that like that. And this is my basic face. And even though the video is 21 minutes without talking and when I just run through it and don't have to keep reaching for what I'm using, this takes me about 15 minutes or less to do. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about anything I've used or you want my opinions on anything that I've talked about, um, let me know. Let me know if being in here is better than when I was out there at my desk. Um, and if so, I will try to simplify where my uh, items are so that I won't have to keep reaching for things. And so I did forget one thing and it's behind this mirror. Nope, it's behind the camera. The cover effects high performance setting spray. So I will spray that on and because I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'll wipe it off of my eyes. If I look in the mirror and it looks like there's spots of the spray, I will take my brush, usually the one I use for um, powder or just to lightly dust over my entire face after I put all the powder and bronzer on and I'll just lightly stipple everything back out. Um, this will be the equivalent to um, when some people after they spray the powder, I mean after they spray the setting spray, they use their sponge and stipple it in. So it's the same concept. I don't have my sponges right here. I didn't use them today. But that's that. Thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video. I promise it will not be this long. I will promise you the next one won't be this long. So thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I just wanted you to see what I did this morning looks like in somewhat natural light. Right now I am in my bedroom. That's all. Thanks.